attention. What are you doing? Suddenly we're stopping for pedestrians' beats. Watch out, Blair. He who sows the wind reaps the storm. Just because you're dressed poorly doesn't mean you're not Chuck Bass. Why would I want to be him? You should have told me you got shot. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yourself. I have. Many times in my dreams. The good ones. But if you were really hurt, I would want to know. When I woke up, my ID was gone. Nobody knew who I was, nobody was coming to look for me. I realized I might be alive, but Chuck Bass doesn't have to be. Changing your name doesn't change who you are. It's a good start. A chance to live simply, earn people's respect, maybe become a person someone could love. Someone did love you. And you owe it to her. And everyone else you're leaving behind not to run away, which is what you're doing. And I don't think that great man you're talking about wanting to be is a coward. I think he would face up to what he did. I destroyed the only thing I ever loved. I need you to hold all of the sadness I I don't love you anymore. But it takes more than even you to destroy Blair Waldorf. Your world would be easier if I didn't come back. That's true. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. love you after what you did. So you did it just to hurt me. Ever made me into someone I was proud to be. You just brought back my worst self. This means war, Blair. Chuck. Me versus you. No limits. I'm afraid of everyone. I'm afraid. That wasn't your future. That was Henry Prince's. Destroying me will make you happy. Happier. The only thing that will make you happy, you lost the moment you slept with Jenny Humphrey. And that was the best thing that ever happened to me because I got over you forever. If you're here to deliver any further humiliation, Dorota can sign for it. Jenny was right. If we keep going, we'll both end up dead. And I like myself too much to let that happen. I assume you feel the same. About myself? More. What do you suggest? A truce. Why don't you just skywrite the word double cross? It'd be more subtle. Look, we can keep blaming each other for what happened that night. Or we can admit a hearted truth. It was no one's fault. It was fate. Tragedy. If Serena hadn't kissed Dan, then. Nate wouldn't have been at the hospital looking for her, and Jenny wouldn't have come looking for Nate. If the Rhoda hadn't gone into labor. Maybe everything would be different. But it's not. We're holding on to the pain because it's all we have left. But we don't have to. 
بیام چی باز We officially have no reason to interact beyond social niceties. What a huge relief. I guess this is goodbye. Let us not forget Article 19. No touching. Take care, Chuck. Listen to me. Why did you do it? Huh, because I knew that Jack was in Chile last summer? I only found out because I was desperate for news of you. You were? All summer, when I was pretending not to care. I wanted to know where you were. I paid a private eye to look, but the only bass he got was your scaly uncle. They simply change. And there can never be peace as long as guns are still loaded and there's plenty of ammunition. What are you still doing here, Chuck? I threw you out hours ago. I wanted to let you know the treaty is over. Fine with me. This pretense of civility was exhausting. Being amicable isn't in our blood. I've realized we're not friends. Friends have to like each other. And after what happened tonight, I could never like you. I could never like you either. In fact, I hate you. I've never hated anyone more. Every nerve ending in my body is electrified by hatred. There is a fiery pit of hate burning inside me ready to explode so it settled it we're settled Weapons may be deadly. XOXO, Gossip Girl. As much as I find Casey personally abhorrent, she's right about black and white. It's decent rather than decadent. You have something more devious in mind. Saints and sinners has a nice feel. There's something alluring about an angel drawn to the dark side. Or a devil redeemed. Masquerade. Mm. Mm. Where inhibitions can't help but break free. Okay. I could denounce your unseemly party. A tasteful dinner in front of the whole board. Impeccable plan. <sighs> this really is a beautiful friendship. See the devil got my address, see the devil got my car. My black Balenciaga would be perfect to publicly condemn you. I love public. I love condemnation. I love you. To my heart, so I cannot make it back from the dark. Of course, no one does black like Dior. their rational thought during sex. They bark and scream out for God and their mothers. I should get back to Ian. I meant it, Blair. Hello, my Link for souls tonight? Let's see we go up in flames together. I don't expect you to wait. Two people are meant to be together. Eventually, they'll find their way back. Do 
Good night, Waldorf. Same to you, Bass. There's no way of knowing if our journey will lead us to play. So? You and I are not dating. And you kiss a lot of people. You're not supposed to kiss him. He's humdrum Humphrey. Everly told me it was life-changing. Because it made me realize I wanted to be with you. Dan and I both know it meant nothing. Less than nothing. Right? Yeah, that's right. I was gonna tell you all about it tonight. But that would have been a huge mistake. Dan Humphrey may not be royalty, but at least he's not a child. How dare you? And you are? I'm Chuck Bass, the lover of her life. Anyone else is just a waste of time. Chuck, go home. Match player, you prove you can score a prince. OK, I admit you made me jealous. Well, let's go back to my place so you can collect your prize. Stop this. You're embarrassing me. What? It's not me who's disrespecting these fine people, it's you. Pretending you're going to marry this French phony, it's a joke. Chuck, no one's laughing, don't do this. Here. Stop it, this is enough. No, stop. Security. Chuck, go home. This is enough. I'm not going anywhere without you. You tell your prince where your heart truly lies. You tell him. Tell me. Sir. To me, Chuck. I'm sorry I ruined your shot at being a princess. But let's face it, you were never gonna go through with it. Chuck. I need you, Blair. Like I never have before. Everything I believed about my father, everything I thought I wanted to be, what I needed to be for him, it was all based on lies. The only thing that's ever been real is me and you. And you know that. That's why you came back to me. Louis asked me to marry him. You'll never marry anyone else, you're mine. I want it to be. I wanted it so badly, but not anymore. Mine, Blair. Stop it, Chuck! I said it's over. Ah! Once upon a time in the land of Upper East, a beautiful girl fled from a beast. No one knows where the ladder goes. You're gonna lose what you love. I should go. Can't be late for my engagement party. Already so royal. I'm sensitive to the suffering of her subjects. You have no idea what I've been going through since that night. Chuck. Just be careful.
It's different. It's lighter, more simple. It makes me happy. And I know. What we have is a great love. It's complicated, intense, all-consuming. No matter what we do and how much we fight, it'll always pull us in. <laughs> What's mere happiness in the face of all that, right? I didn't want to let you go just yet. Let anyone tell you you're not powerful. You're the most powerful woman I know. It's taking all the power I have to walk away from you. I know. But I need to let you go. You need to let go. I always love you. I will always love you. Thank you for waiting. I had to say goodbye. This just in, Chuck Bass and Blair Waldorf, happily never after. They say part